Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Legacy of the Dragonborn. Part 11, I think. I'm not too sure. So, I did some leveling. Um, everything. So, smithing is level 57. Um, Two-handed is level 144. Or, or not, not 144, uh, 44. Um, archery is 48. Just some, just some, you know, random leveling and everything like that. I went to, um, Ember Shard Mine, as well as, um, uh, Halted Stream Camp. Got a few things for the museum and everything, so... Yeah. And I also got uh, some, you know, overhauls for the NPCs. If you're wondering what mod this is, this is Northborn NPCs. Northborn Right Run, to be more precise. The mod author Southpaw has made them for almost all of them. He's gone up to Hjalmarch, so he's done Falkreath, Whiterun, The Rift, um, Hoffengar, Winterhold, and I think Hjalmarch. The only thing, the only ones that I think he needs to do is Eastmarch and Mark the Reach and uh, the Pale. So, yeah. All right, so. I need a couple sawn logs. Here for work? Ah, of course. All right then. Whenever you need them, we'll. Ah, of course. All right then. Whenever you need them. All right. I might actually get rid of my grass mod that I have. I like it and all, but not really needed for a... Uh... Now that the guild house is built, talk to Arian. Wonderful. You work quickly, my friend. 
Come, let's have a look, and then I'll show you what I have come up with for the charter. Amazing. Simply amazing, my friend. You truly are quite the craftsman, I must say. Yes, this will do quite nicely, I think. Plenty of space, a good number of beds, flies. Yes, you seem to have covered all the basics very well. Now let's discuss the charter. So, how does that sound to you? Farewell. I think you'll find it acceptable. The laws of the Charter are thus. All knowledge gathered by the Guild is to be shared freely, with credit going to those who discovered it and provided it to the Guild. The Guild will fund expeditions, paying wages to members based on their rank, and any items of significance uncovered during the expedition will be at the discretion of the Guildmaster and Chief Librarian as to their importance and if they should be displayed in the Museum. Other spoils will be sold and the funds distributed to the Guild and members of the expedition. The Guild will also maintain a Quarter Office, where an appointed Quartermaster will acquire and make available for purchase at a discount supplies for members and expeditions. So, how does that sound to you? Sounds pretty good, I think. Good, good. Well, then I think we can start spreading the word and gathering possible members. Here is some contact information for your potential candidates that came by previously. You should check into these and I'll keep my ear open. And in the meantime, if you need me, I'll be at the museum. Let me know if you need anything. I'll let you know if anything develops on my end. Oh, my friend, I have some exciting news for you. Oh, my friend, I have some exciting news for you. I was contacted by a relic collector in the province of Elsewhere who is in possession of the staff of Indaris. He has offered to donate the staff to the museum for safekeeping. With all of the struggles occurring there as of late with Thalmor occupation and the local resistance, he worries that the staff could fall into the hands of the Thalmor, and it appears as if he's just arrived. Could you meet him in the back of the guild? <laughs> you will see for yourself. The site is quite worthwhile, believe me. Sure, I'll head out there now. Do send him my regards. The greatest reward lie, lie in the venture, not, not, not in the outcome. For one to see seek riches merely for the sake of riches themselves or deprives themselves of the true treasure the secrets which contain their prize to begin with i say nay to the prospect of treasure and trinkets to me they are simply a means to pay the way towards the greater richer of riches of knowledge the credo of the guild the guild it's tasks itself with, with, with the fur furtherance of knowledge and the pursuit of truth and the preservation for posterity, all that which, which may benefit man or more alike. Let us venture forth and seek out knowledge of the past to prove the way, to pave the way to a better future for all. In safekeeping knowledge, so too we, we, must we save keep the source of that knowledge. Artifacts, relics, and historical records are best kept in, in the care of those who study and respect them, respect them rather than donned by those who would exploit and misuse them. Code of the Guild. Guild will fu fund expeditions paying with... Okay. Guild leads. Er 
Ariana, an imperial young lady who come who who came by by the museum one, one day to offer services in brokering the sa sale and per per and purchase of artifacts. She she brokered the purchase of a thorn blade, in fact, and a and has supplied a few things I've need I've needed to or prepping. My God, I cannot speak today. Prepping displays and always seems to make a good good on her deal of and blah, my god i cannot speak today it is a it it is incredibly bad you guys on her end of the deal she may make a fitting quartermaster she has traveled around and based herself around the, the night gate in of as of late professor patero moresi an old bosmer gentleman and a colleague of mine for some years back from some years back he is an expert archaeologist and much more of the of a field operations man than i am i had considered him for for a position as chief relic hunter for the museum before you came along but he wasn't interested in traveling at that point i received a le letter that he was going to be staying with an with a friend in white run for a while and he's reconsidered becoming involved with the museum I think he would make a, make a perfect chief chief archaeology chief of archaeology. All right, here are some people. Here are some other people you may want want to keep keep an eye out for for in your travels. I am uncertain where to find them, but if you do come across them, try try to and remember their names. And I think they may have some potential potential to offer the guild. Kyrie Ol Ol Olderson, Nord X Minor, Majority Dark Elf, who seems obsessed with Dunmer lore, spent an entire day in the Hall of Lost Empires taking notes and ta talking to himself. Seems harmless. Seems harmless enough, though. Latoria, Khajiit woman, mage, college dro dropout with an academic passion. Good luck, my friend. I hope you met you can manage to find some people some of these people huh Kashit knows that smell you are a colleague of Orion no yes the airship ah a fine prize in our growing victories against the Thalmor we call her the Devaveza. Elsewhere has great troubles. During the First Dominion, Elsewhere was a protector of the Aldmiri Dominion. A reluctant ally, if you will. And now that the Dominion has risen once more, it seeks to bring Elsewhere under its thumb once again. There are those of us who would not have this. So Rakis happens upon this relic a number of years ago, brings it into his safekeeping, but word spread swiftly on the warm winds of elsewhere, and now the Thalmor seek to obtain it. Every piece of power they get their hands on brings them that much closer to dominating all of Cambria. So Impossible! The staff of Indaris, so that you may safe keep it, and keep it from the clutches of the Thalmor. Phew! That was close. You saved Rakis from that sneaky Thalmor. Rakis owes you his life. He wishes he had something of value to give you for saving him. The Devaveza! Yes, Rakis insists. It is yours now. There is a manual on how to fly it inside. This one will get home by traveling the moon path to elsewhere. Farewell, friend. And may your road lead you to Worm Sands. Hmm. Good farewell, Fal Thalmor.
Where was, um... Where was it? So this map indicates that uh, I think it's the next installment, I think. Um, and then obviously this is Skyrim. Rakis is pleased you are here. Don't know why she was naked, but okay. Please, take pity on an old madman. Hello, friend. Until next time. Why is everybody... Why are some people naked? I don't get it. I don't understand.
All right. You're interfering with official form or business. There's blessing on you. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. It is time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. But the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple, now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, for it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed, and Malkarin destroyed. Malkarin has forced the door shut, but this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light, 
guide this light through my temple and its doors will open. I don't know if I like the sound mod that I have on. It really hurts my ears. around the burial stones. Get ready. Trouble ahead. I don't like the look of this. Neither do I. Someone thought I heard something. Well, that's taken care of.
Don't see that every day. Come on. What was that? What was that? Ha! <gasps> found you! Ah. Well, that's taken care of.
All right. <clears throat> Get ready. Trouble ahead. Oh my god! Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Oh. I over cucumber. I'm still here. What do you need to take? It's not so much that I need to take something, I just literally need to give you something. Is there anything else you need? No.
Can I help you? I'll be sure to put it to good use. Lead on, then. We've stopped. What is it? I what do you need to take? Blood, but little compares to the excitement of battle. Now let's move. So I have one perk point.
Ah, good day, my friend. A group of mercenaries came through town and sold their spoils, and my contacts informed me of a rare item amongst the hall. I thought you may want to use it, or perhaps place it on display. I still need to get steel plate armor, um, this armor, the one she's wearing. Not the elite wolf armor set, because that doesn't go on display, but her normal armor. I need to get the, I don't know if I have the boots, the gauntlets. I know I don't have the chest piece. I don't know, I, I also know I don't have the, um, helmet. Yeah. Do I really want this? It looks cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. Look like a proper barbarian. I really do look like a proper barbarian. My goodness. But no. I do look like a proper barbarian. Look like a Conan the Barbarian, man. Yeah, whatever. Not really my style, this this playthrough. But yeah. Anyways, I'll uh, leave the episode here. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.